the mighty, mighty Commodore Amiga 500 with the built-in 68000 processor and 1 megabyte chip RAM. It was a great computer back in 1992, but today, when we want to play games on this beautiful computer, we don't want to do it as we did it back then, with long, long, really long loading times. Do remember those floppy disks? <laughs> Putting them in, waiting for something to happen, the games to load, the disks to replace again and again and waiting and waiting and waiting some more. Oh man. But today? 20 years later we have so many options and one of them is actually upgrading this beautiful Mega 600 with a compact flash card and installing all the games on a big CF card filled with games, programs and demos and to be able to run them we have to upgrade the Amiga a bit. It comes with one megabyte chip RAM, it needs some fast RAM as minimum guys because we don't want to sit and wait and wait for the disk 2, disk 3 to load, right? So in comes this solution. 16 GB compact flash cards and IDE to CF adapter. Now this solution is just amazing. To be able to run it, we need some uh, RAM upgrade and we need a kickstart upgrade. Now the Amiga 600 came with kickstart 2 and that's maybe the worst kickstart ever for the Amiga system. So uh, we have to upgrade that also. But before we do that, we have to make a fast inspection of this Amiga 600. We'll need the cable, ID cable, we need the ID to CF card, and of course, we also need a, a CF card. Now, in this one, I'm gonna use a 16 gigabyte, and of course, the Kickstart 3.1 to be able to run this WHD load that we're gonna look at in a minute now, guys. And the most important upgrade, 9.5 megabyte fast RAM upgrade for the Mega 600. Cheap, easy, really, really simple solution with some nice jumper adjustments. You can enable, disable, or just run it as fast RAM if you have compatibility issues. But before we do anything, as I said, we have to inspect this Amiga 600. Now the Amiga 600 has I think the weakest motherboard, the weakest build of all the Amigas. So when you buy one of these, inspect everything. Start with all the caps, as you can see up here at the connector to the keyboard, they can be some leaky caps. And over here, as you can see, the RF modulator has been removed. This Amiga has been all cleaned up, all recapped. The SMD caps, the hole through caps, everything is just clean and ready to go. It looks beautiful, all recapped. I will really recommend you guys to recap all the Remiga 600s. Also, check a look at the ID pins because they're also weak. Now, after the recap and cleanup, the first thing we have to do is just check out the 2.0 ROM there throw it out, <laughs> put in the Kickstart 3.1. I absolutely love that upgrade. I do, I do it on all my Amigas. There we go, Kick, Kickstart 3.1 is installed. The next part is the memory upgrade. Let's put in directly on the 68,000 CPU, firmly down on the old four edges. Just pull it in, push it in, in one push. There we go beautifully installed. The next thing is this IDE2 compact flash CF card adapter. Just put in the cable and carefully, don't bend any legs, put in the CF card. There we go, we got games, we got demos and we got 
workbench that we can choose from this beautiful menu. This is just absolutely magic. As you can see, arcade game selector menu. Nothing with old floppy disks. Now those 30 year old floppy disks, they are not that reliable today. So, I mean, this solution is just a dream solution, guys. As you can see, we are running with the built-in 68K CPU that runs at 7 MHz. And here we can see how it reacts to the joystick, to the game selection. As you can see, every time I stop scrolling at a game title, it takes a couple of seconds to load a game picture. Almost all the games has pictures. So you can see because after all those years, maybe you don't remember. <laughs> Uh, uh yeah what the games look like so i really like that this arcade game selector has got this picture as you just saw there lethal weapon now now this wst load it will show you this screen and now it will start loading the game now if you remember the loading times on your floppy disks then you can see here it's a matter of few seconds and the game is just ready to go but again to be able to do this i would say minimum and this is minimum specs guys one megabyte of chip ram which is built in in the amiga 600 but if you want to do something like this on the 500 minimum one megabyte of chip ram that's what i recommend and also minimum you can run this with four megabyte fast ram but i would say minimum eight megabytes of fast ram and activate preload so everything just runs fluid and yeah enjoy that beauty now the makers of this of this wht load says that you need the 68010 cpu and this is the 68000 um, the 010 has got more instructions so it is easier to use the f10 quick key so yeah but still if i do something like this i would uh, minimum recommend the old 20 but if you want a budget build and enjoy then this is perfect guys look at this the next selection is actually demos so on this 16 gigabyte card i mean this compact flash card is just filled with games and as you can see demo selector here so we just go to b and select bbs something something demo and again it will show it says bbs intro um, and from now on it will load the uh, demo now i uh, compared with a <laughs> disk drive floppy disk loading time now if you install gotek it will take as long time as the uh, normal floppies does so that's why i prefer this wxt load as you can see the demo is already loaded and ready to go perfect Again, me 600, 68,000 CPU, oh my god, program, 9.5 MB fast drive. And it runs, it runs really nice. We have another game selector here, iGames. I don't use it, but as you can see here, it is also installed and it shows at the bottom there that this 16 GB card has got 3041 amiga games 3000 games guys on a 16 gigabyte card and it has got over 700 demos and it has got a lot a lot of programs and still it has got uh, mod files music still we have a lot of room on the 16 gigabyte card and it runs absolutely perfect with kickstart 3.1 so I will say this is the cheapest way to go and Amiga 600 recap it clean everything up upgrade it with some RAM Kickstart 3.0 IE to compact flashcard adapter a compact flashcard filled with games and demos and you are ready to go not waiting for loading times floppy disk errors nothing like that just ready with a simple cheap setup to enjoy all those old amiga games 
Thank you for watching guys. Have a great day out there. Retro Django out. <laughs>